Hey, good afternoon, YouTube. This is Undefined Silver. I wanted to share with you a pickup I did today at the local coin shop. Now, this is a coin shop that I used to frequent often. Now, I haven't been there in well over a month. Uh, I walked in today. I actually left work a little bit early today to hit this coin shop before they close because, again, I'm not going to be able to go to the coin shop tomorrow. So I really wanted to go check things out and see what was available uh, today. So um, so I got over there and uh, you know made a purchase here. I was able to pick up 19 ounces of, of silver. Uh, if you know me or have seen my videos, I'm really into the vintage silver. Uh, you know, when I can get it and when they do have it. Um, you know, the coin shop that I frequent really has vintage silver, unlimited amounts of vintage silver. And, uh, you know, if I had a lot more money, I certainly would pick up more if I could. Uh, but I pick up when I can. And, you know, they have pretty much everything that you could possibly want. Buckets and buckets of Morgans, buckets and buckets of Peace Dollars, Walkers, you know, dimes, nickels, whatever you want. So, um, you know, all kinds of foreign coinage. Um, you know, check out my video uh, of the coin shop. Uh, this is uh, it's the same coin shop that I frequented today. And, uh, you know, I do have a couple more coin shops that I go to. But this one I had not gone to for quite a while. I was able to pick up 19 uh, ounces of silver here. So, uh, you know, let's get into this. I'm going to try not to make this long. You know, I, I'm sorry for everybody if I always make my long videos, but uh, hopefully everybody enjoys them. Um, so, I was able to get, uh, somebody had actually made, uh, had sold some silver to them, and uh, they had a whole bunch of uh, Liberty Lobby coins, Liberty Lobby coins that, um, you know, were um, uncirculated, still in plastic sleeves. Uh, so I purchased all of them, and there was 10 available in the bucket. And, um, you know, this one here is in great shape, but it's either toning or dirty. Now, the bucket that I do frequent, as far as my vintage silver is concerned, everything is just thrown in there. Um, you know, and it's a little bit above spot as far as uh, this bucket is concerned. So, uh, you know, and I'll tell you what I, what I paid for everything. Everything here, all 19 ounces were the same as far as uh, what I paid per ounce, except for one piece. Now, I, I like to try to go to my local coin shop, uh, the, the ones that I do frequent. And I want at least one piece of silver at a uh, spot. So that's the deal. They know that that's the deal that I, when I go in, they'll offer me one piece of silver at spot. So I got one of these Liberty Lobbies at, Liberty Lobbies at spot today. Um, so the spot price was fifteen thirty one. So consider this one of them, I guess. And uh, I got this one for $15.31 today uh, for this ounce of silver. So... You know, I got 10 of them. They were in plastic. A lot of them were still in uh, plastic sleeves. And, uh, you know, un a lot of them are from the uh, distributor that way. So I have a tube that I'm going, uh, that I've started with the Liberty Lobbies. And, uh, you know, I'm going to be able to finish it up today uh, with these 10 that I purchased. And there's a couple more. So most of these Liberty Lobbies that I have are from 1983, as you can see. A look at it. I don't know if this is focusing or not. There you go. I don't know what that is. What these are spotted. I have no idea what that is. If that's toning, people were testing these. I have no idea. And uh, one out of the ten, I was able to get a. 1979 Liberty Lobby. Now the, the uh, reverse on these are all the same. Now this one from 1979 is bigger than a uh, little bit bigger than the one from 1980. Uh, no, it's not. I guess the diameter is the same, but you know the thickness of it is quite different. The diameter is pretty much the same. I thought they were different, but I am wrong. But 
but the backs, the uh, uh, reverse side is similar. Okay, so let's move on here. Now in the bucket also, there was a 2001 uh, Indian head round. And I'm assuming this is a round. I kind of remember there being a commemorative piece of silver from 2001 or another year. But I remember the F, and I'm going to look this up, but I, I'm, I'm probably wrong on this. Uh, I had thought that this possibly could have been the, the commemorative one, but I'm not really sure yet until I actually take a look at it. But, uh, you know, it does have a mint mark down here which I saw when I was in the shop, and that's why I thought that it was the commemorative coin from 2001, which I think these are going for 80 bucks or so. If it's graded, I think it's over 100. But I'm going to take a look, okay? So I was able to pick this up really, really cheap today um, as well. I also picked up a... Uh, not a vintage round, but, uh, you know, a Christmas round from 1987, depicting Santa there. It's toning a little bit here. I'm not sure. Uh, it's still in the plastic. It's a lot of these out of my local coin shop. Uh, you know, when I go into this vintage bucket, a lot of these are still in plastic that these guys get from people. And, uh, you know, Jeff and Joe, they just throw this stuff into a bucket, you know. They actually had, it's been so long since I've been there, they had stuff put aside for me that I totally forgot about. Um, and I told them to keep it aside, I'll, I'll buy it next time. So I was also able to pick up um, seven vintage uh, bars, and I'll show you what these are. So, uh, you know, here's an Independence Day bar from 1973, July 4th, 1973. Plane back. I'm not sure who the mint, uh, you know, who, who minted this, but um, you know, I'll find out. I'll do some research. Here's a uh, the Concord stage. Here's a silver bar depicting the Concord stage. Stagecoach. I thought this was pretty cool. Mother load mint. I'm assuming this is uh, this is definitely vintage from the mother load. This is uh, 73 or 74 vintage. Uh, I don't have this particular bar, but uh, you know I'll do some research on this too. But I'm I'm fairly certain that this is a 73 bar from 1973. So uh, as we all know, vintage is uh, you know 74 and below. All right, here's a uh, here's a vintage bar uh, depicting Secretariat. Uh, triple Crown winner. This is 1973. Let's see if I can get you guys a better view of this. Now these vintage bars in this bucket that I go to, this is the uh, U.S. Silver Corp. Uh, this bucket that I pull out of, uh, if you watch my video uh, of me going to my to this local coin shop, uh, you'll see the bucket that I that I uh, get to go through every once in a while. Um, but that bucket has many, many pieces of vintage silver in it um, of various types. Here's a Valentine's Day piece of silver from 1973. I think this is Madison Mint. Uh, maybe not, but... It could be one of those art bars, you know, from Madison uh, that they made for someone else. But I will uh, take a look at this, too. <clears throat> Here's a Thanksgiving bar from 1972. This is one ounce. Now, a lot of these vintage bars, you know, as you know and as you see, if you look at my videos, these are all toned up pretty nice. Um... 
And I do have various uh, holiday um, bars as well. Here's another bar. Uh, I have several of these. Mount Everest Mint, 1973. These have been pretty nice. I think these are going at a pretty good premium. But I have yet to sell any of my silver online. It's going to be quite a while before I do. If I do, I will be doing a giveaway here soon. Everyone, just so you know, uh, once I hit my 50th video, I'm going to do a giveaway. You know, I'll give away a few pieces of uh, vintage, my vintage silver, uh, to some lucky guys and, and gals, and, uh, you know, a couple other uh, nice pieces. But, um, you know, keep an eye out for that if you can. And, uh, you know, hopefully, um, you know, you can be part of that as well. Finally, in my last piece, uh, this is Veterans Day 1973. Ooh, almost lost it there. Veterans Day 1973. I haven't seen this bar. I think this was new in the bucket. I haven't seen this one in there before. And as I said, there was a bunch of uh, silver in there that's been in there for quite a while. So I was going to take about five pieces of silver out of there, silver rounds out of there today. But I decided to keep them in there since they've been in there for a long, long time. And uh, this is made from the Madison Mint, this Veterans Day bar. Um, but I figured that they would be, um, they'd still be there when I'm ready to go, go back again. And um, I'm sure it will be. Okay. Um, Last thing they gave me, they gave me one, uh, <laughs> which was nice. They never have to do that, but they usually give me a quarter, uh, silver quarter, uh, which Jeff always gives me one uh, in my change. And then they also, I was looking for a uh, number 40 airtight for this uh, 2008 Britannia that I got uh, from Atmax. And... Um, I don't, I don't like the way it rattles around in this one. This is just a, a cheapo uh, capsule. So I asked them to give me an airtight, and they threw this in as well. So I don't have any 40s here. I have a whole bunch of 39s, and the 39s are too small for this uh, Britannia. Um, but anyway, hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, it's great to go back to the silver and, uh, local coin shop and, and pick up a bunch of vintage um, silver as well and some newer stuff as you can tell but um hopefully everybody has a great weekend i'm not gonna create a video for tomorrow but um i'm gonna be working on the deck hopefully that will be the uh, the last day of my deck work and then um, i'll be available on on saturday or sunday mornings as well but anyway have a great weekend undefined, undefined silver's out